Hello, this is Jane Holt, manager of High Meadows Library. I enjoy demonstrating origami, particularly modular origami, where you can make all different kinds of interesting shapes by folding singular units and fitting them into other units. I've made a lot of these pieces because you can use them to make all kinds of interesting objects and shapes. Uh, you can make cubes out of them, you can make wall hangings, and you can also make Japanese medicine balls, also known as kusadama. In order to make these, you need to make uh, the individual units. So you start with a 6x6 six six inch piece of paper, which is the traditional origami paper. Fold it in half. Make a nice hard crease there. And then you're going to bring both of the sides into the middle. This is also known as a cabinet fold. Do it on each side. And then I like to bring the lower right corner up to the top and then turn it around and do the same thing on the other side. You can also bring the, the top down if you want to and make the parallelogram go the other direction. It's just important to uh, stay consistent. Now there, there could be these little triangles that you're going to see. You're going to just turn them inside out like that so they're going the other direction bring them together, and then you're going to fold the unfolded corner, the sharp corner, in underneath, like that. And do it again on the other side. And now you have a parallelogram with a little X. Turn it over, and then bring that acute angle up to the obtuse angle on the same side. And then rotate it, and do the same and it will make a square. And you bring those two points together where that little hinge is and it gives you this shape like that. Now you need a lot of these and you need to know how to fit them together. So I'm going to do one right here really quick to sort of um, illustrate for you how they fit together. So what you see here is you're going to get a triangle at the end, and then the square is two triangles together, and then the other one on the other end, and then there's the X in the middle. The middle ones have an opening there like a pocket. So you're going to take the end triangle, match it up with the center triangle, like so, and then just slip it right in like that. So match up your end triangles with your center triangles that have the pocket and just slip them in like that. Now if you flatten it out you're going to see a little hallway separating right there and then you'll know to bring that one over and again slip it into that pocket. There's that little pocket right there, that little opening there and you're going to match up the triangle, slip it in. There's that little X. Match up the triangle and slip it right in there. And again, there's that little hallway thing that tells you to bring that up and around and tuck that right in. Now you have your beginnings of your assembly. A kusadama is a Japanese medicine ball because they used to put incense in them. There's all different kinds, um, but generally they're just decorations now. So you're going to need 30 to make a kusadama. I like to do three sets of 10 to give it a nice variation. So again, you're going to put that right there, and you're going to slip that other one like so, and bring it around. I like to actually cut up sheet music because I think it's kind of a pretty um, design element. It's great if you have somebody in your family that's musical, makes a nice um, decorative element for 
um, what you're doing. So as you can see, if you just tried to remember to, you're going to make a lot of um, triangles. They're sort of like little peaks. And if you follow it around, you're going to see it's going to make sort of a circular pattern. There's the third one. There is a logic to it, so if you kind of keep going the way it makes sense, you shouldn't have any trouble with this. I'm just going to speed it up a little bit. And let it sort of fit in and flow into where it needs to go. You'll see where things need to be. Okay, now you're going to see that there is like a star pattern here, and you've got six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six peaks. Now if you continue on with making the six peaks, you're going to have a mat or a wall hanging, but if you bring that in and create five, which makes it sort of tucks it kind of close together, then you'll see what happens. It's kind of interesting. It actually begins to sort of curve around itself. So that's five. One, two, three, four, five. So if you just remember the rule of five, as you keep adding pieces, then you're going to have it actually curve around to make a ball shape. And just remember when you're making these pieces, see, just keep checking as you're going around to make sure you got the, the five. And there's a point when I'm doing this where I notice I actually have four and I have to separate it. There we go. I have to bring it out. Make sure that all your pieces are going in the same direction because if you turn some to the right and some to the left, they're not going to fit in together. So that's why I like to stack them to make sure that they're all exactly identical except for the color or the pattern of the paper. And there you go. I have actually had people in classes that were about an hour and a half make a full one of these. So once you understand sort of the logic of it and how it goes together, you can do really well. Also, um, we do have books about origami in our Overdrive collection that have videos that go with them. Here's some resources here, our Overdrive, there's Origami Instructions, and Folding Fabulous, which is my website. I've made a lot of these pieces, as you can see. And the more you make, it's sort of like having the more crayons you have in your crayon box. So sometimes I'll just um, enjoy making them some of these wall hangings and big assemblages and just sort of enjoying what I'm looking at and then take them apart later. If I like them, I will glue them. So that's notice how many I've made. I kind of went a little crazy on that. And uh, you can make them in different shapes. And sometimes I'll take a picture of it and think, well, I don't like it that well. And if that's true, I'll just take it apart. Some people like to do jigsaw puzzles, and I like to do origami wall hangings and uh, assemblages. So thank you so much for watching. Here's our um, social media, and we'll see you at the library.